Well, I guess if you want to win a series, who better to send somebody who's had a lot of success against a particular team that he's facing today? That is Sean Manaya. 17 start for the left hander. He is 6 and on his last eight starts against these Texas Rangers. The hair gets longer. I don't know if he'll ever cut it, is the success he is having. So, sub three earn run average. So, just a great, great start for Sean Manaya. Garcia, 0 for 4 yesterday. In fact, Hitless so far in this series had kind of a cloudy one yesterday and Garcia hits his ball out to left field but Kemp looks up and that one is over his head for a moment body language would have suggested that he had a play but no Garcia with a double this ball hit hard out to right field that's a base hit and Garcia scores easily the Rangers get the first run of the game and Joey Gallo stays hot his 44th RBI of the year. And they go against Dane Dunning. 4.63 ERA, 75 strikeouts for Dunning so far this season. As you mentioned in the first innings, this ball hit lined to short, and Kiner Falefa is there. Look at this hard line drive that was hit right at him, almost as if it jumped on him. Remember, it's a day game. So two on, two out, and now it's to the top of the order. Chapman grabs the line drive and Manaya gets out of the jam. A couple of runners stranded for the Rangers. We're headed to the bottom of the second. And that one kicks away, and Loriano's going to score. This game is tied at one. Well, Seth Brown. Did he get hit? Seth Brown is taking his gloves off. It was not ball four. That was ball three. So I yeah. think. They may be checking to see if it hit him. So that's going to take the run off the board. There's Brown. Huh. Brown ends up getting hit by the pitch. And maybe that's why it kicked away the way it did. As of right now, it takes a run off the board. Well, what I think people thought happened yeah. is just the kick off the shoulder is what caused that ball to right. kick. And it's that right, right there, yeah. how that ball ramps off of his foot. 1-0. And a bouncer right side of the infield and the throw to third is in time difficult play but they force out Moreland and the inning is done. Wow. Culberson reached around for the base but he got it and Dunning gets himself into but out of trouble one nothing. Toward right Brown coming in he dives and he caught it. Nice play by Seth Brown in right field. It would have been a run. So very nice play by Brown to end the inning. So a couple of free base runners to open the inning. This one on the ground could be two. Underhand to second one. Solak on to first. In time double play. University of Florida. And his 0-2. Loriano went. Yeah, that's a strikeout. Third strikeout of the day. And it ends the inning. And the A's leave another man at third. Nate Lowe stands in. He swings and drives one deep out into right field. Brown going back. He turns to look, and it's gone. It's bouncing up the staircase. It's straightaway right for Nate Lowe. Home run number 11 and a 2-0 Texas Rangers lead. It looked like a little breaking pitch that did not do very much at all from Sean Manaya. That's supposed to be a curveball? That didn't break hardly at all. Here comes Big Joey Gallo, two for two today. Four straight games. Uh oh. This one lifted high in the air. Out to right field. That one is gone. Make it five straight games. And another no doubt at a right field. 20th of the year for Gallo. After a couple of singles and now gets a missed location fastball down and in. And they were trying to go away. And that is a big mistake by Sean Manaya. And Joey Gallo makes him pay the price. A little bit of an effort there from the outfielders, but they knew that it was gone, and he almost cleared that first section once again, just a couple of rows short. Tap slowly. A tough play for Chapman. He scoops, he throws, and that is a terrific play by Matt Chapman. Hicks is struck out and popped out. He had his contract purchased from AAA Round Rock. 2 2 pitch. This ball hit well. Deep out to left field. That is a no doubter. It is gone. And there's that power that CJ was just min mentioning. John Hicks with his first home run as a Ranger. It's 5 nothing. 
And good to see for John Hicks in his first start here with the Rangers to be able to show off some of that pop for the 31 year old. No wall scrapers for the Rangers and a big hug from his catching partner there Jonah Heim. The outfield with that great arm that right field seemed to make the most sense. Now a pop up into foul ground there is a lot of room over there Chapman <laughs> overran it. That's amazing. And it's ball four so on for a fourth time today. Nate Lowe Lowe who hit a line drive home run to right in the fourth inning is one for three. Lowe hits another ball pretty well down toward that right field corner it's gone a home run and Lowe has a multi homer game. He knew that he got a change up here. And not far enough away. You see how Nate Lowe's out front almost to one hand. He had two hands on the bat when he made contact. And he got enough of it to go. That's his second multi homer game of the season. Isaiah has now joined the party. Now Eli White, who was singled and scored a run, 2 2 to White. And he shoots this one out into right field. That is a base hit with a man in scoring position. Hicks to third base. He'll round and score. And it's an RBI single by White. Chapman. Maybe. And he caught it. <laughs> he caught it. Unbelievable. <laughs> so right up over the bullpen mound. Henders going to step in against the new pitcher, Brett Martin. And he hits one fair. Down the third baseline. Chapman's going to try to score. Trudell's going to dig for third. He'll make it there. Pinder's got a double, and now it's eight to two. Bottom of the ninth inning, and Spencer Patton is on. Patton has the ball very well for the Rangers early this year, and he hits this one on the ground to shortstop. And Kiner Falefa will throw him out, and the Rangers win the series in Oakland. A road series win in a place that has been a house of horror. <laughs> for the Rangers so that's a huge one their first win at the Coliseum since 2016.